Welcome everyone. It's time for June 2022 makes over here at Viv Mom Sews. Probably the only channel that films with an iPhone 8 in portrait mode. I know. I know. Let's just say that technical prowess is not my strong suit. I have 10 pieces to show you today. Now, I know it's not summer everywhere, but it's pretty darn hot here in Virginia. And my pieces are all going to reflect staying cool, ease of wearing, comfort. You know, sewing does not have to be difficult to be stylish, right? So I love getting the most bang for my buck when it comes to sewing. I like simple lines and, like I said, pieces that are going to be easy to wear, comfortable, and cool. So let's get to it. I'll be right back. Well, I wanted some all-purpose shorts. So, quick sew 3614. Um, I like these a lot. They have a little bit of a curved waistband there. I cut what I might describe as a generous size small, just outside of the small lines, and I think next time I would just cut on the small line. I did these out of a nice white, barely off-white cotton twill, and I did a couple tops to go with them. So the first one comes from Simplicity, 2190, just a simple, 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 there's the blue one, pull over knit tee. You can put pockets on it, but I didn't. Now, I've gone kind of monochromatic, um, just as an experiment to see how this might look. The shorts come up eh, a little high, I might say. Fly zip, pockets, you can see through to my pockets, which I didn't think would happen. However, who cares? I like the shorts. They're a little, um, they're a little big, but you know, that just means comfortable. I really like this top. Now I chose a cotton, 100% cotton knit, which means it has zero recovery. And getting that neckband on there Wow, was I really pulling that? And I thought, is that gonna look okay? I think it works. I've left the sleeves raw and the hem raw just because I like how they hang. But I would like to do this little shirt again and put the pockets. They only show one pocket. I don't know if you can see that on that blue drawing, but they only show one little angled pocket on the shirt, and I think I would like two. So I'm going to show you these shorts with another top. Hang on. New look, 6948. A very cute little knit top. You get a skirt in there as well. So here we can go in a little bit of a different direction and look a bit dressier with the same white shorts. I changed to a little bit of a heel and this top, which is in a really pretty ITY knit that came from Fabric Mart. It is by designer Susanna Monaco. And apparently Fabric Mart got a whole bunch of her knits in and they, this one went down to $3 a yard and it makes kind of a cute, outfit maybe for going out to dinner in the summer or you could put flip-flops on with it and dress it back down again so I like this little top I've made it once before and it's super easy because the finishing here on the neckline and the armholes is just to turn in three-eighths of an inch and stitch it down as I won't be wearing this top a ton that is a perfectly acceptable finish to me, and it gets it out from under the sewing machine and on me, which is what I, what I like. Okay, there's another top that goes with the shorts. Hold on. 
Simplicity 5204, what a cute pattern. You get lots of stuff in here. You even get a tote bag, look at that. So I did the sleeveless shirt and I made my shirt out of a cotton voil from Fabric Mart. I probably got this fabric two years ago. It's so pretty. It's very light being voiled. There's no stretch. So we have a very simple little collar here. No collar stand. We just attach the collar to the uh, neckline and you do need to do the stay stitching. I do recommend that. Now this pattern comes with facings for the armholes and I, you know me, I just do my bias binding finish. So here's another outfit that I can wear with these shorts. I will make the shorts again. Like I said, I'll take them down just a tiny bit in size. Some people ask me, well, why don't you just cut the regular size and use a different seam allowance? But you know what? I would never remember to use a different seam allowance. So I make any changes that I'm gonna make when I'm cutting and I will often cut between sizes or like these, I didn't really cut between sizes. I just gave it a generous cutting line on the small. So, um, that's just a tip, it's up to you. I have four buttons on the front of this top in a very, very light lilac. And what do you know, another outfit. Now I'm gonna switch out the shorts and show you some linen pants that I made. They're not that great, don't get too excited. Simplicity 2611. All of these patterns that aren't in print anymore are available on eBay. That's where I stalk. Anyway, um, these are drawstring pants, straight up drawstring. So I experimented and put elastic in the back of these, a very wide elastic. Um, you know, I didn't really even need to do that. They're cut in such a way that they stay up even if you don't tighten up this drawstring. And they do have pockets there on the sides of the legs, but I wasn't sure what that might look like. So consider this a bit of a trial pair. Plus, even if I put the pockets on, I don't know if I'd like them way down here. I'm missing side seam pockets and that's what I would have liked to have in these pants. However, they're fine as all-purpose cropped pants for summer. They're in this light gray linen, and um, I think they'll match quite a few things. They went with this top, even though this top doesn't have gray in it. The tones, the tones complement one another. Now I have another top that goes with the pants. I kind of kept you know, crossing over and crossing over, but that's good because then I will have more options. And yes, I actually need these pieces in my wardrobe. It's crazy, I sew a lot, but then I have these big gaps and I need things. So hold on and I'll put on that top. Here's a Berta pattern, 6761. This is a cute little top that has a peplum, though it doesn't go all the way around to the front. And I would say that this is kind of a clever construction because when you attach the peplum, it kind of forms the bust art. So here I am in linen top, linen pants for a very easy breezy summer outfit. I just have on flip flops. And here is this top up close. We just have a binding out of the fashion fabric. Um, did I make the sleeves a different length? I did. I didn't do the three quarter sleeves, but they come down to my elbow. And there it is. I kind of like this little top. The wide neck is very flattering. 
Um, it doesn't look too bad from the side. I was thinking, oh no, you know, it could really stick out. But it doesn't. And there's the back. And it's all in linen, so it's very, very cool. I have another outfit for you coming right up. Simplicity 8907. This looks really cute on Instagram on the people who have made it. I went for the romper, the shorts, left off the chest pockets. I did not have my pockets incorporate into belt loops because I knew I would not wear a belt with this. So I did something a little bit different. And we have cut on sleeves and a button front and an elastic waist. Now, everything was okay. Everything was going fine. You can see here at the waist, I have just put a bow to sort of mimic a drawstring and my pockets end right here. On the pattern, the pockets go way up and form belt loops, which is very cute, but I just, I don't wear belts. So I had this border fabric from Fabric Mart. I bought it for Candace, thinking that she would fall in love with it. No, she did not. So I said, well, by golly, I'll use it. And I have the border here at the bottom of the shorts, running down the front and running down the back. My buttons are red because this print has some red in with the pink. So I thought that was cute, but when I put this on, these sleeves stuck out like wings. And you know, I'm an inverted triangle. I'm not supposed to be a tension up top. I need more filling out at the bottom. So what I did, I just plain cut deeper, a deeper curve here and sheared off that much. And I think it fixed it. We've got the little pockets there and one, two, three, four, five buttons going down the front. I've got my beautiful Joy earrings on today. She has made me so many pretty earrings. So there's my romper. This is not something I usually wear, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think I like it. All right, let's look at a skirt and top next. Yeah, I hate McCall's patterns, but this one worked out, probably because it's new look. New look 6219 is a very basic and wonderful skirt. It is not a true drawstring because you have an elasticated waist. Um, I went ahead and put the little ties on to look like a drawstring. Kinda like to do that. And New Look 6948 is a great peasant top. I made the sleeves a little bit longer this time. So we do have pockets, which I love. I made the skirt out of a cotton and it's got blue in there, if you can see that. So it's just got a nice, comfortable elastic waist. Um, pockets that are, I was gonna call them patch pockets, but they're actually not. They're sort of, you know, part of the pocket facing, forms part of the waistband. The top I made out of this Whisper Light Crepe de Chine. Now the color's beautiful. It's a saturated royal blue and I love it but I did not like working with it at all. The rest of it went for donation. I thought, should I even donate it? Maybe someone would like to work with it. I don't, and I'm glad that I didn't have to do much with the pattern. Um, this pattern, where'd it go? Have I lost it? <laughs> oh. This pattern just has a casing at the neckline and the sleeve hems. So that was okay with this fabric, but whew, not fun to work with. However, I will make the skirt again. It's got a little split there on the side. And even though my cotton is kind of light, 
Um, I think it'd be better with something a little heavier just so it would hang and have a little more body, but oh yes, I will wear this and, um, and I do recommend that pattern. So I'll put both pattern numbers in the description box. There's one finale coming up, hang on. Berta 6628. I'm so grateful for this simple, beautiful pattern because it is exactly what I envisioned for this fabric that I picked up at fabric.com. This is just a quilting cotton. It's made by Stoff and it's heavy, heavier than a quilting cotton. I put it more in the broadcloth camp but it's got this cool uh, colorway. I guess that's like teal and maybe, is that chartreuse? I'm not sure. Very simple A-line dress. I love the length. And I will say this, I tried to do their neck binding and it just was not happening. It just, it just wasn't, it didn't fit. And I thought, I'm just gonna go back to what I know and love, which is my own bias binding. I did that at the armholes as well. And then we have a little button loop closure there at the top. So you don't have to put a zipper in it. You don't have to, you really don't have to do much of anything. It does have darts. It's got some nice shaping and you can see that A-line. And if you have a bold fabric, this is brilliant I love it you can also do an overlay see that a lace overlay in a shorter length so there is my Berta dress I've worn it with flip-flops you can do anything with it I'd like to have about 10 of these and that's gonna wrap up my summertime sportswear for this month tell me what you're working on I hope you're sewing and I hope that everything is going well in your life. If not, just keep going and things will change. I'm thinking of you and I'm saying goodbye for now. See you next time. Bye. Hey, all the patterns listed in the description box. Bye.